Hey, buddy. around me. Why do you think we stopped scrapping it? Everyone figured it wasn't worth the risk. Except you. It's a calculated risk, Kay. And I'm good at math. Ship's reactor? Waka, I need to get power to the ship somehow. I, I think I'm at the reactor. Hmm. That's your best bet. It's probably a multi-step activation from bottom to top. If it works at all. Should warm it up. Reactor's up. Now let's see if it'll power the rest of the ship. <sighs> okay, I think we gotta climb up to the top. Me next. Walker, I made it. Huh? Oh, yeah, perfect. 
Nav computer will be in the console. Okay. <sighs> I can't pry this open. I think it needs authorization. All right. Authorization granted. Just needs to grab the nav computer and... Those are Zarek Bash agents. How did they find us? See something? Right. Nix, set that off. Something's not right about this, Nix. Let's grab it and go. Now. This looks like a nav computer. Vale, right? If this is about Slero ship or the rebels, it's just a big, big misunderstanding. I don't care. to get out of here next. Keep running. We'll, we'll jump to anywhere else if the ship's even there. We shouldn't be here. The Ishiga could come at any moment. You're such a coward. Crimson Dawn's taking over and there's nothing the Ishiga can do about it. Doesn't mean they won't try. Fine. This is a restricted area. You need to back away right now. Fine. I hear you. Ugh, oh, gotta be another way in.
someone nearby? I hear you. It's showtime, buddy. Little slime ball. Scram, or I'll eat you for lunch. <laughs> here. That's gotta be it. Feelers up, buddy. This could get tricky. Someone nearby? I think there's been a few different leaders of Crimson Dawn. Don't know the whole story, but I'm glad Kira's in charge now. Mm. What? Room. Hmm. And I need to find a key card. This part of the job is so boring. What do you see? that control room. All right, let's get this thing out of here.
are you gonna try your luck? I don't know, Kanaya. I'm pretty rusty. Five. Guess who's going to see the queen? <laughs> they must want this relic bad. Good work. You should be terrified. What? Why? They may perceive you as the thief. Oh, right. Uh, I'll be fine. Hmm, a lot of security here. Crimson Dawn knew what they were doing. Easy. The band Pudira. Who are you? Kavas, uh, your majesty. She was asking about the bomb maker. But I also got this relic back for you from Crimson Dawn. Our expansion has made us vulnerable, Mother. It will make the hive stronger. We don't need the outer rim. Our place is here. We have decided. Okay, so Relic's back. You gonna let Ant go now? The bomb maker? She is essential to our expansion. But the Hive also has great use for a thief like you. Work with us. And we will let Ank go free. Mother. We got a deal then. Great. I'll just leave you two to talk this out. <laughs> I understand increasing our credit flow, but is the risk really worth it? You could always request a transfer. I've considered it. But you're but... getting used to the life the extra money affords, aren't you? What can I say? Thorden like makes it very difficult to leave. Got something, bud? Time to distract them, Nix. Lights out. The cargo bay, TK28599, get down there. We're not getting through that hangar with all those troopers. Maybe we can get them out of here. Here goes. All right. <sighs> okay. One, oh, biological sample to be shipped. <laughs> that should work. Let's get back to the ship. Let's go. 
Be back soon. And don't trash the place, Bosnock. Hey, Jay, I'm the 
Okay, how's it going? I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you any good at Savak? What? Uh, yeah, I'm from Canto Bite. Good. I got some high rollers looking for a challenge at McCall's. Go take their money. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Gorak. I can see that you. Why are you here? Hey, new record. At the top, where it should be. Let's go, Nix. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthias Carlson, game director at Massive Entertainment. Today, we'll show you a different type of adventure. And as we journey across multiple systems, we will come across many opportunities for a scoundrel. In Star Wars Outlaws, one of your motivations for exploration is to find elusive experts scattered across the galaxy. These experts will help Kay pick up new skills to survive in the underworld. Here, we're looking for a gunslinger who can teach us some new tricks. Our intel points to the Moss Eisley Cantina on Tatooine. So let's head back to our ship. We're picking up in Accra Station. A remnant of the Clone Wars, it used to be a refueling station that now acts as a trade hub for illegal contraband. It's a great place to resupply. Merchants are often affiliated with a syndicate and might offer you a special deal if you're in good standing with them. This kind of business attracts all kinds of shipjackers, contract brokers, and corrupt officials. Need your name cleared from the wanted list. <laughs> your ship, the Trailblazer, is a refined EML 850, the last of its kind. On board, you'll find everything you need to finalize your preparations. Hey, Andy. Hi, Kay. Akiva space. Each planet has its own system for you to explore, and many opportunities to make a few credits, which you can choose to engage with or not. I am under attack! My ship will not survive long! This is Kay Bess, on board the Trailblazer. I'm coming to help. Turret activated, Kay. One down.
happy to help. And you can tell Gorak he owes k a ship. In space, your actions also have consequences and can impact your reputation with syndicates. This optional dogfight allowed us to improve our reputation with the Pikes while making a few credits. Spooling up the hyperdrive. Now let's continue our journey and head to Tatooine. Tatooine Space, edge of the galaxy. The tattoo system is in the clutches of the Hot Cartel. Our reputation with them is poor, so we best be on our way. Welcome to legendary Mos Eisley, the infamous hive of scum and villainy. We could head straight to our destination, or explore what the city has to offer. Recreating this iconic city is a dream come true for our team, allowing us to show parts of Mos Eisley you've never seen before. Room for one more? There are many opportunities for a scoundrel, including working your way in with the Hot Cartel. Most of Tatooine's economy is under their control, even though the increased Imperial presence has been hurting their business. But first, we need to pick up the trail of our expert gunslinger. The best place to start is the cantina. By asking around, we learn of a pirate who is deadly with the blaster and who used to work for the Hot Cartel. Our intel leads to one of their storehouses, located in the southern hills. Traveling to your destination can be an adventure in itself. As you move across scorching dunes and dusty valleys, you'll quickly realize that this lawless desert planet still holds many mysteries. We've reached our destination. We need to locate our storehouse and find our way into this heavily guarded fortress without triggering the alarm. Busy place. There's a data pad or something that can tell me who that old gunslinger is. Sense anyone close? Sutta. Aguatisti. Easy. All right, let's see what we have here. Yes, I got it. Wait, Quint? That sheriff from Wayfar used to work for the Huts? I should talk to her. Oh, come on! We've been spotted. 
but we now know where to find our gunslinger. Let's get out of here quick. We're in trouble, pal. Still looking for Haas. I haven't seen him. Actually, I'm here for you. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best. Now is not a good time. The huts are coming and I need to get ready. Get your blaster out. What we have just shown you is the beginning of one of the many adventures you can go on in Star Wars Outlaws. Whether you want to learn new blaster skills, upgrade your speeder, or become an unstoppable thief. Finding an expert is always an adventure in a galaxy full of opportunities. We should keep moving. Welcome to the first ever open world Star Wars game. Set in the dangerous golden age of the underworld. Let's raise the stakes, shall we? Okay. You play as Kay Vess, a scoundrel looking to start a new life. Kay gets pulled into a plan that will change everything. I believe if you follow the plan, no one gets hurt. Fortunately, she won't do it alone. From childhood, Kay and Nyx have been inseparable partners. You're welcome. Helping each other every step of the way. All right, distract him, Nyx. Using their criminal skills and tools, Kay and Nyx will have to constantly adapt to every scenario. Nyx, you want to drop that for me? Come on, come on. Whoa. If you don't want me to sound the alarm, you'll get me out of here. As your versatility grows, gain access to new skills and more lucrative contracts. There she is. A friend needs a little something stolen. And in this world, your actions have consequences. I can't let you walk out of here. I'm gonna finish it. Shame. And reputation is everything. Where is he? The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And more attention you'll receive from some of the most notorious syndicates of the galaxy. And how did you think it was going to end? Tell the governor the payments will not increase. It's up to you where your loyalties lie. Hey, Nick! Being Nick. wanted by the Empire brings a new set of challenges. This is getting bad. Hold right! So as your exploits grow, beware of who you cross. Hang on! Scattered across the stars are unique locations, rich biomes, environments, and adventures to discover. 
traverse the lush jungle world of Akiva, the ancient city of Kajimi, the dangerous savanna moon of Tashara, or roam the lawless planet of Tatooine. When it's time to move, Pilot K's trailblazer to transition from planet to planet. And deep, fire up the hyperdrive. Ready to jump. Once you land, you can explore all these worlds on Kate's S-57 Cardinal Speeder. This is the life of an outlaw. A life where you fight, explore, and infiltrate parts of the galaxy you never thought possible. There are opportunities at every turn. And if you're willing to take the risk and defy the odds, the galaxy is yours for the taking. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune, and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Jabba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. because you were one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Sliro. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all.
Hit that button. Nice one. Hang on tight, little buddy. Just leaving. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. Shield. Hey, Andy. You're late, Kay. Doc is waiting. What? Are you worried? No. Okay. No, but you Troy. What? Be careful. Donka's a broker, not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. Round two and I still like my odds. Vess. Back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. Join us. Job was more complicated than you said, Danka. You lived. <laughs> hey! He's on toys! Their investments. <laughs> Wait. We haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat to the Empire. 
But I won't have to if you're smart. Thanks, but I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Whoa, kid, let's just relax. You won't make it off to Shara alive. Maybe. We've outrun the Empire. We need to leave. Yeah, no kidding. Sensors yet. Anybody on the sensors now? Tie fighters on us. Got one. I feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the Empire quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. Your new toy. So, where do we go next? Anywhere we want. That's what I hear. The Empire? They're everywhere. But the world here... belongs to the Syndicates. If I want to survive, I have to play their game. Looks like I'm all in. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm out. Hey, 
There she is. my whole life. And now, I just need a chance to finally be free. Wherever that takes me. I'm here to offer you a way out, okay? Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. You're gonna have to trust me. It'll be dangerous, risky. But if you pull this off, you'll never look over your shoulder again. The underworld shows no mercy. But it's a big galaxy out there, and I'm gonna risk it all. Welcome to the Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay walkthrough breakdown. I'm Chastity Vicencio with Ubisoft News, and I'm joined by narrative director Naveed Kavari, creative director Julian Garrity, and game director Matthias Carlson, who are going to give us more information about what we saw in the gameplay walkthrough. Here we go. And this is our first ever introduction to Nyx. Nyx is a Murkal, a rare and exotic creature whose home planet still remains a mystery. He's got a very curious personality, as you can see here. He can be a bit stubborn, but he has an incredibly strong bond with Kay and always follows her lead. She's grown up with Nyx for most of her life. He's not just a pet, he's family. Good boy. And here we have Kay. First introduction to a brand new scoundrel in this galaxy. Kay is a young thief who's found herself on the moon of Tashara, which is a hive of underworld activity. She's picked up a high-risk job to steal a priceless sort of mollusk-like object from a lieutenant of the Pike Syndicate. Once she's grabbed it with the help of Nick, she's going to turn it in and earn some much-needed credits. So Pikes are one of the syndicates uh, that we'll be tangling with in uh, Star Wars Outlaws. And the Pikes here are borrowing without permission some vehicles from the Empire and the Rebels and uh, different people and cutting them up. Nix. Hit that button. Nix is uh, more than just a lovable and fierce companion. Uh, Nix is a whole bag of tricks in and of himself. You saw him push that button from a distance. He can uh, distract guards. He can attack on command. He can help you with puzzles. He can help you discover secrets as well. He is uh, very much conceived as a symbiotic part of the player's control over Kate and Nick. So we're really thinking of them together as a whole. Hey, uh, uh, I was just leaving. Feel your cheek <laughs> So when we meet Kay in the beginning of the game, she, she knows her way around the blaster. It's not necessarily her first option or primary tool to solve a, solve a problem or a situation. However, as we progress through the game and it's many ever more dangerous situations, both Kay and the blaster itself will evolve and improve. And you will soon find it to be a central and very versatile tool for more than just directly taking out the enemy. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. And Kay's blaster is very meaningful to her. Uh, this blaster has a lot of uh, modules that you can uh, discover, upgrade, uh, and apply to the blaster that allow you to deal with situations in radically different ways. Hey, Nick! Catch. So, so here I think we have a very good example of the type of uh, role Nyx can play, even in something like a full-on firefight where that enemy that we took out dropped the gun that he was just about to shoot you with. Nyx can 
you know, slink down and retrieve that weapon for you. Let's try this out. Sometimes best solution is just to get out of there. So ever since we kicked off this project uh, in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games, uh, one of the things that they were passionate about, of course, is authenticity. One of the things we were passionate about is bringing something to the galaxy of Star Wars. And one of the biggest things was this uh, moon, Tushara. And Tushara, we developed, uh, working very closely with Lucasfilm, everything from its vegetation to the wildlife to its deep rich culture and all of the activities that we can discover during this trailer and even more one of the, the key pillars uh, for both k the character and for the the core gameplay in general in star wars outlaws is what we call a resourceful underdog k is a capable and daring person and we reflect that in gameplay with you having access to a wide range of actions and abilities. Ever growing, of course, as you play through the game. Ranging from stealth to full on firefights, as we still saw here, uh, you know, shooting from, you know, driving your speeder full speed ahead under fire from enemies. We said, if we can make the player think like, oh, I can't believe I made it. When, when they just play through something, it's a success. Kay's reputation with the syndicates will play a big role in how she approaches her journey, whether it's the pikes, huts, or others. We had a saying that in the underworld, you live and die by your reputation. As if a job she takes hurts a syndicate, those opportunities aren't available. So her choices play into how she experiences her journey. There's Jonta's Hope. This is Jonta's Hope. Jonta's Hope is uh, one of the settlements that we have in the game. So this is a tiny outcrop, an oasis of civilization in these windswept plains. And it usually contains a uh, drinking hole, a uh, cantina. And these are hubs of activity too. So we very much enjoyed developing how it would look and feel and what sort of vibe that cantina would have. But this is just one of many settlements and cities that Kay will discover across the galaxy. And that includes the capital of Miragana, a city on Tashara filled with corruption and underworld activity. No. Okay. ND5 is a BX commando built by the Separatists and battle-hardened during the Clone Wars. Nowadays, though, he serves as kind of an enforcer droid in the underworld. He's partnered with Kay as they attempt to pull off a big, high-risk job. It's the opportunity of a lifetime not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. So various jobs and favors for the, the different characters and, and factions you encounter, they play an important role in everything from learning new things, actually unlocking equipment and abilities, to managing your precious reputation in the underworld, which is the key to some of the most lucrative opportunities out there. Okay. Important note though, something that's key to the fantasy of the free scoundrel lifestyle is that you're never in servitude of anyone. You're making your own choices, carving your own path through this world, making a name for yourself. The job was more complicated than you said, Danka. You lived. <laughs> Who she works for, whether it's with syndicates or otherwise, is crucial to creating a reputation for herself. And then how she approaches those syndicates through those choices is going to be key to gaining bigger and better rewards, whether it's for credits or priceless artifacts. Wait. So nothing in the underworld is black and white, oh, and we man. wanted to reflect that in the choices she makes when taking on jobs. This is one example of many. Does she just hand over what was stolen, keep a cut for herself, lie about how the job went down or the intel she learned? It's really left up to her. In these scenes where we're going to give a choice to the player and these choices they, there is no wrong answer there's just ways to weave your own story ways to change challenge increase your reputation with certain uh, factions and syndicates decrease it gain an advantage or a different perspective on the story too so we put a lot of effort in giving the player agency over their own trajectory Thanks. So the game takes place in the original trilogy era, 
So the empire is at the height of its power and reach. So they're always looming there, somewhere in the background, ever watchful. But as you can see here, we want to show a different side to the empire and how it intersects with the underworld. And that means corruption. Particularly on Tishara, even though it's imperial run, the local governors and officers lean into corruption and have worked out special arrangements with the syndicates that benefit them. So this is the wanted system and the wanted system uh, is something that's going to be ever present within the game. If you are caught or challenge the empire, you're going to start to get wanted. And if you continue, you persist and you do even more actions, that wanted level is just going to go up. At the highest levels, the Empire will throw a huge yeah. amount of resistance and forces in your way. So that's something that you can play around with, but you're best off uh, trying to avoid as much as possible. Very important for us in this experience is that there will always be some way for you to de-escalate or escape. Oh, this is uh, the Trailblazer. Now, if there's one dream that a lot of uh, game developers have, it's to help design a, a spaceship for Star Wars. And this is our take on that, the Trailblazer. The Trailblazer is an EML 850 light freighter from the Republic era, but to Kay, this is home. And if you're a scoundrel traveling throughout the galaxy, the first thing you need is a ship. And for Kay, there's none better than the Trailblazer. So now we're in space. And, you know, one of the things that was very precious to us is having this seamless experience of going on foot to your speeder, to uh, your spaceship, out of the atmosphere and into space. And space is a dangerous place, but it's a place full of opportunities too. So we'll be using it for combat, both on a, an intimate dogfighting level, an epic level with bigger ships, but also for discovery, exploration, uh, and special surprises. Let's jump! Uh, it's important to hit those classic, iconic notes of Star Wars to remind players of the era that they're playing in. And the fact that the galaxy is something that is wide, diverse, but iconic at the same time. One of the things that it, uh, is important for us is that every planet that you will visit in this adventure has a distinct profile. Not just a uh, very bespoke story, uh, but also wildlife, an ecosystem, and situations that really radically change from location to location. And space is just uh, another part of that. So we're trying to develop uh, distinct profiles for every single orbital region. We knew from the start when we sat down thinking about this game that we wanted to offer that full seamless experience. You know, sitting in a cantina, in a city on a planet surface, jumping on your own speeder, driving to your own ship, and as we just saw, seamlessly flying into space is something that we are incredibly pleased and happy and excited that we're able to, to actually offer. We really enjoyed making this and we can't wait for you to experience a new Star Wars adventure. Working on a Star Wars game is a dream come true. I've had all of the toys, and it's wild to go from making these little stories on the carpet to actually build a narrative in the Star Wars galaxy. Massive Entertainment is the perfect choice to build an open world Star Wars game because it is inherent to their DNA as a studio to deliver on incredible open world experiences. Massive Entertainment are master storytellers for open world games. This is going to be a fresh experience for Star Wars fans everywhere. Immediately I had that in my head, all the possibilities of it. where do we want to go, what can we bring to Star Wars that has not been seen before.
Lucasfilm Games suggested that the perfect era to set Outlaws would be between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. What's great about that point on the timeline is this is a moment where the civil war between the Empire and the Rebellion is at its height. And this creates an environment across the galaxy where outlaws can thrive. That's the world that Kay is stepping into. And she sees the opportunity just like anybody else. We will see some really cool syndicates, both from existing lore and newly created for the game. When you play Star Wars Outlaws, you get a chance to discover what the underworld is like and live through those experiences. The stakes are definitely very high for Kay's journey through the underworld, but she learns, she adapts, she sneaks around, and she finds herself in very important spaces with very powerful people. Building the world of Star Wars Outlaws, first thing we had to do was think of places where outlaws thrive, these hubs of scum and villainy. The most exciting thing is being able to go back to iconic locations that people know and love, but then diving into the Lucasfilm archives and really bringing them alive in a new but very genuine way. It's not just about recreating Tatooine as you know it, Going back to the classic sources of spaghetti westerns, we tried to recreate an authentic mood and feel as we built new points of interest to follow the already established history. And there is a new location that we collaborated with Massive Entertainment on called Toshara. And this has been built from the ground up with the scoundrel fantasy at its beating heart. Hang on! Our goal is that you feel like you're stepping into Star Wars. And that means going back to those Macquarie concepts, going back to Joe Johnston's storyboards, Phil Tippett's creature designs, and creating a lived-in galaxy. We're trying to create a world that feels alive and bustling with opportunity that also is very grounded. And we're getting inspiration from the African savannah. But we still want to add the alien element and that is what makes it feel like Star Wars. We want to give Toshara some elements that make it really stand out in the Star Wars galaxy. So there are windswept plains, veins of Emberine, and there's a vibrant city called Mirogana that's built into a huge rock that's been carved out by the wind that's ever present on Toshara. One thing that we need to always keep in mind is there's always a connection between the biome and what grows there, what lives there, like the flora, fauna, and the culture of the people who inhabit the place. From how the plants pollinate, or how vegetation and local resources are used in local clothing and buildings, to even how the locals have adopted wind into their way of life. We have created everything with an authentic approach, so players will experience all these places like someone who actually is there. We made it, Nick. <laughs> Working with Massive, we were able to really build out an authentic Star Wars world where you can travel, explore, and discover in a way that we really haven't been able to experience in modern Star Wars gaming. The high-stakes scoundrel lifestyle and the open-world promise allowed us to create a game within Star Wars that had never been done before. Not just exploring cities, but also getting onto your speeder and race across stunning wilderness. Then jump into your ship, the Trailblazer, and go on an incredible adventure. We've only scratched the surface of what Star Wars Outlaws has to offer. There is so much more that you will get to embody and use and play when you become k -Vest. Players are gonna love Star Wars Outlaws. It's gonna be exciting, it's very adventurous, and that's what makes it Star Wars. So I'm very excited to, to share that. So, where do we go next? Anywhere we want. Hello, and welcome to the Star Wars Outlaws Story Trailer Developer Breakdown. Today I'm going to give you more information about what you saw in the new story trailer. 
including details about new characters and criminal syndicates. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Slero is one of the galaxy's elite, living in Canto Bight and leading his own burgeoning and highly lethal criminal syndicate, Zarek Besh. Slero organized this gathering of syndicates as a demonstration of that power and to show that his organization, Zarek Besh, should not be crossed. It's a golden age for the underworld. In the golden age of crime syndicates, the syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws are spread across the Outer Rim, and their impact can be felt everywhere. We have previously shared that the Pike Syndicate, the Hutt Cartel, and the Ashiga Clan, which is a new syndicate created in close collaboration between Massive Entertainment and Lucasfilm Games, are in the game. Today, we got to reveal that the elegant and sophisticated, yet highly dangerous syndicate, Crimson Dawn, will also be a key player in the underworld of Star Wars Outlaws. Kay Vess. Across the Outer Rim, Kay will build her reputation and form tense and ever-changing alliances with each of these syndicates, which will offer varying gameplay and narrative opportunities depending on your actions. Whether providing you access to some of the most lucrative jobs in the galaxy, or hunting you down if you've double-crossed them. What do you want? Zarek Besh. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Jalen is somewhat of a mentor for Kay. He's a fellow scoundrel that has a lot of experience in the underworld, and he sees potential in her. Rob his fortune, and buy your freedom. Jalen offers Kay her one shot at ultimate freedom to pull off one of the greatest heists the galaxy has ever seen. As a member of the galaxy's elite, Slero's mansion is heavily fortified by multiple levels of security, and his own personal syndicate, Zarek Besh. After a failed job, Slero doesn't take kindly to Kay, placing a bounty on her head and sending one of the galaxy's best bounty hunters, Vale, to hunt her down. This job, it's a death wish. The legendary Hut Cartel represent one of the criminal syndicates that Kay will encounter during her journey across the Outer Rim. Kay and Nyx will come face to face with their leader Jabba in his iconic throne room on Tatooine, but the Hut presence will be felt across other locations and planets too, where you will meet some new faces of the Hut Cartel. So you'll need to be careful as your reputation will follow you. Out here you live and die by your reputation. These syndicates have real power in the underworld in each of the locations Kay and Nyx will visit on their journey. Their impact and influence will be felt wherever you go, from the vendors you interact with, the jobs you take on, the support you receive, and even the access you have to certain territories. This job is my one shot at freedom. Attempting to rob Slero's mansion alone would be impossible. Even if Kay and Nyx got in, they wouldn't be getting out. In order to pull off the job, Kay and Nyx will need to travel across the Outer Rim to find skilled outlaws and convince them to join her in pulling off the greatest heist the galaxy has ever seen. There's a lot of fun and exciting characters that you'll meet on your journey, some of whom you see here. Hang on. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. Raised in the underworld, Vale has had a toe in every syndicate and has learned from each of them. Because of her experience, Vale is a formidable adversary for Kay. She can fight, pilot, hunt, smuggle, anything she needs to do in order to pull off a job and claim her bounty. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. Kay grew up alone, fighting for scraps in the workers' district of Canto Bight, relying on her skills as a thief and Nyx to pull off small cons to get by. Kay has always felt that the galaxy